Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a hidden release, a small movement you're going to make with your lead arm, which is going to give you more power and more control. I know it's hard to believe, but there are still some kind of hidden things in a golf swing that we haven't heard of, or we haven't done, or we haven't consciously understood in the past. And believe it or not, there's something going on in your lead arm and shoulder, which you haven't really been aware of. I touched on it kind of briefly a few weeks ago when I was talking about avoiding hitting the ball fat, hitting, catching the club or club into the ground before you actually get to impact. And what I was talking about there was getting the lead shoulder up and out of the way. By getting the lead shoulder up, you were actually pulling the grip end up around this kind of circle of your golf swing and therefore flattening out the impact angle of the golf club as it comes into uh, into connection with the golf ball. And by doing this, you will stop yourself actually catching the ground. But you can also use this exercise to actually accelerate the golf club. At the same time as you are extending your trail arm, you can be pulling up with your lead arm, which will basically get this catapult effect, this acceleration of the golf club, um, even faster than it would be if you were relatively passive with your lead shoulder. Similarly, the further that you get your lead shoulder up and around, the further you'll be able to get your lead hand ahead of the ball at impact and the more kind of bowing you will be able to create and hold through impact, which is going to help you to stop the club from flipping and keep the club face square through impact. So loads and loads of positives. But what is it that's hidden? What is it that's, that we haven't really realized? Well, if you look at the way that you are taking your address position and even more in your back seeing what is actually happening in this shoulder area, what you should be able to see is that the um, the shoulder, which is normally kind of, or uh, the arm is normally mounted on the side of your shoulder, as you go into the address position, this kind of tilts forward. And by doing that, getting it forward, you are actually getting yourself slightly rotated internally with the lead shoulder. This internal rotation is extended as you actually fold your trail arm. It's pulling the lead arm across your chest and rotating it towards yourself. In fact, this is one of the things that Bryson DeChambeau is working on in his downswing, is keeping his lead elbow pointing at the target and keeping this internal rotation, because if he does that, he is stopping a lot of the external rotation in his lower arm and therefore the rotation of the club head uh, when he's coming through the ball and therefore avoiding the ball going left as often as maybe it was done before in his swing. But this internal rotation you're getting is also pulling, pulling the shoulder down. So as I change direction, you will actually see Strangely enough, the, kind of the, the lead shoulder goes down towards the ball. We turn around here and we're getting to the release position we were talking about the other week. And as I straighten the trail arm out, I want to have the feeling of pulling the lead shoulder or arm back into its socket without going into too much external rotation, without opening the arm towards the target, just kind of pulling it back up, feeling as if it's getting kind of back level with its original position if I were just standing naturally there. And actually by doing this, I am pulling the arm up and to the side of my body. Now my rib cage will then cause the arm to kind of be pushed 
out and that will allow me to hold pressure on the club for longer, get the hand, lead hand further ahead of the ball and therefore keep more control over the club head for a longer period of time through impact. And by kind of snapping it back a little bit, I can actually get a bit more kick in the release, actually helping the trail arm and wrist to straighten and really get it snapping the club a little bit more. Now, as ever, you aren't going to be able to think about this when you're hitting a golf ball, so you've got to drill it. So how do I drill this? Which muscles am I using? Well, there's a drill that we've been using quite a lot on the channel. If you remember, you take a club normally in your lead hand and hold it across your, your thighs, gripping it in the middle of the shaft. Then you can make your swing around to virtually the shortly after the impact position. And I want you to have the feeling when you get your trail hand to around about ball height of kind of pulling up with your lead shoulder and just allowing yourself to pull the club up through your trail hand. So you can see I'm kind of pulling the thing up and I'm actually training then the muscles in my in my shoulder to actually pull the, the ball back into the socket, so to speak. And by doing this on a regular basis, I can actually start to make this an intuitive movement. Make sure, however, you're not getting too much rotation here, which is also one of the reasons why I'm not really letting my trail hand go too far towards the target here. I'm holding it back and I've got a little bit of kind of the feeling of the, the lead elbow keeping its direction towards the target here. And then when I combine that movement, I can actually feel how the lead shoulder is actually supporting the release through the ball. And as ever then, when we get to the actual golf ball, don't think about it, just do it. All of these little things are basically giving you maybe a tick more control, a bit more club head speed. Um, as I said a couple of weeks ago, if you're really looking to get into the basics, there's really just kind of, are you turning your hips and your shoulders? Are you using your arms halfway correctly? Will give you the lion's share, but this might just be the difference between you striking the golf ball a little bit cleaner, getting a little bit more speed and pressure on the ball and being able to hold control of the club face for just a fraction longer. And that might just be the difference of one or two handicap points in your game. I hope so anyway. If you liked it as ever, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe if you haven't done already. Um, the little bell will give you notifications the next time that we post a video. Um, if you are a patron, thank you very, very much for supporting me. If you would like to become a patron, then I shall leave a link below and you can uh, sign up with a little donation every month to keep me back here a little bit more regularly. If you aren't, I'll be back here anyway. I wish you well, keep well, keep safe, see you soon.